Kara Flores is the writer, director, and producer of Nihi, a local culturally focused children's television show that stemmed from her involvement with We Are Guahan. The organization fought fiercely to prevent the military from constructing a live fire training range in the ancient Chamorro village of Pocket. Flores produced a documentary on their plight. Nihi really kind of came out of that. Like it was um, that the whole, the fight to save Pocket, it was very heavy and my daughter was, I don't know, maybe three or four at the time and I needed something light and something that we could um, succeed at. And so, uh, and I really wanted to, um, I really wanted my daughter to have a way to connect to our culture outside of um, this really heavy activism. And so my cousin and I put together a Nihi pilot um, using a grant that we received from Kaha um, in my in a spare room in, in my grandma's house and the goal really was just to reconnect kids to um, the land and the ocean to our natural environment and to really inspire within them a love for our community. Once a local television show, Nihi is now reaching school. audiences around the globe with a channel on YouTube. And there's more. Flores has started a project with the Guam Department of Education. Over this past year, we've partnered with GDOE and um, kind of the first part of this project was uh, a research project with GDOE where we went in and just really figured out what teachers had access to and what they needed. Um, and since then, we've created a teacher work group that over the next um, probably six to eight months, we'll be working on creating culture-based lesson plans. Um, and at the same time, we'll be creating culture-based media pieces so that you'll have this full package in the classroom from grades first through fifth where you have the lesson plan, the media pieces, and it's all culture-based and um, easy to use, ready to go. According to Kara, their research has shown there's an interruption of cultural knowledge as a result of the disconnect in what students are being taught and a lack of correlation to Guam. So these are really um, basic things that kids should know. You know, we should know what the tree outside of the window is because if we don't know what it is or we won't, we won't know how to take care of it. And the same thing applies to, you know, the ocean and our surrounding area. It's very appropriate for us to be steeped in the knowledge of our region, to know who our neighbors are, to know what their culture is, to know what they're like. Um, and so that's what our next project does, is just to create culture-based curriculum that really is um, based in the knowledge of our region and our home. One really basic aspect of culture is just our connection to the natural environment. And, um, you know, the more we know about the jungle, the land, the ocean, the more likely we'll be to take care of it. But on a deeper level, culture is like our grandmother and our children because the perpetuation of culture and our taking care of culture is really about taking care of our people. And um, there are so many studies that show that the well-being of a of a people is closely related to how connected they are culturally. As for other projects to promote our culture, Flores is currently working on the permanent media exhibit for the Guam Museum and her clothing line, Lagua Sangani.